This video is going to be a bit more than you expected. From the new images here of the 16th flight, we already can deduce a couple of things. 1. Usually between publishing new pictures and publishing the exact location, there is a time gap between 2 to 5 days. The landing pictures are published first, the exact location a bit later. The fact that the NASA already published the correct location of the chopper, which I checked is correct, means that the flight was nominal. They programmed the chopper to land right here and then only checked their pre-programmed location with actual navigation camera images. These images. In this 16th flight, they really try to avoid of what happened during flight 9. That is why 16th flight is so short. During flight 9, here in white color, Ingenuity flew almost the same path as during 16th, but much longer. It was 625 meters, almost six times the distance of flight 16. And because of its onboard autonomous navigation, the helicopter accumulated positioning errors during flight 9. The general rule is, the longer the flight, the more navigation errors the chopper makes. The best analogy would be if blindfolded and asked to go straight, you would do it, but only to a certain point. Flight 9 landed right on the edge of its landing field, and this time we clearly see nothing like this happened. 2. The sand ripple in this image is in the process of migration. The fact that this fork-like structure is on the west side means that the wind is blowing west. You can see it even here and here. These structures form when the top of the ripple accumulates so much dust that it cannot stay in the center and slowly collapses with the direction of the wind. Compare these younger ripples with these. The distance here is much bigger, thus they are in the latter stage of development. 3. Ingenuity took an image of this landing site during its dramatic, nail-biting ninth flight. Here is the same fork. And 43 souls later, after this picture was taken, Perseverance will leave its tracks right here. 4. The color camera during this 16th flight is pointing this way. This means that 17th flight direction is going to be this way. 5. After flight 17 is over, it'll take Perseverance some time to catch up with the helicopter. During these couple of weeks, Ingenuity's team is going to update the navigation software. 6. And this is bonus. Perseverance also took these pictures of 16th flight landing on Sol 191. Nothing much, right? Just 8 pictures of mostly sky. Until you use a filter. Yes. Clouds on Mars. Vaguely connected to 16th flight, but beautiful. And now enjoy the collection of these clouds, as I have no time to compile them into a coherent separate video. And have a great soul.